This story is one of many examples of souls who are eagerly awaiting the coming of a new manifestation of God, the promised one of all ages, who would bring the most great peace to the world. Alan McBride Moore was born in a small town in America in 1843, when, throughout the world, there was a spirit of excitement. Many people believed that a day would come when the life of humanity would change forever, as they searched for the promised one who would bring a new message from God. Alan had a highly inquisitive mind and was full of questions. Had a new manifestation of God already appeared? Had he gone unrecognised? Was he maybe living somewhere on earth? She longed to know. Later, when she was married and she was raising her children, she would often ask these questions at church. But her question didn't make her pastor very happy. And one day, he visited to her in her home, but only spoke to her husband. He said, there are some things that are very difficult to answer. See, in those days, women were expected to sit quietly and the pastor didn't speak to her directly, but only to her husband. Doesn't seem very fair, does it? But Alan agreed to keep quiet and didn't ask her questions anymore at church. She was pregnant at the time and she prayed that the child which she carried would be given the chance to speak out and to know the truth. Ellen had a beautiful baby girl and it was one of six out of ten. Wow, what a massive family. Her parents named the baby Louisa Aurora, but we know her as Lua. Lua was intelligent and inquisitive just like her mother and she had a beautiful singing voice. When she was about 20 years old, she was encouraged to go and study theatre. And for some reason, her heart told her to go to Chicago, even though this was a large town far away from her home. Then, she spent her free time searching for a faith that would satisfy her spiritual longing. She went to many churches and different societies, and she studied spirituality and philosophy. And even though she didn't find the answers she was looking for, she never became discouraged. Then, when Lua was about 22 years old, a very important meeting was taking place in Chicago. It was called World Parliament of Religions. Here, many speakers from different religious backgrounds came to speak about their faiths. There was a paper that had been written by Dr. Jessup and it was read at this conference. This was the first time that Baha'u'llah's message had been spoken aloud in America. The words of Baha'u'llah that were quoted were, that all nations should become one in faith and all men as brothers, that bonds of affection and unity between the sons of men should be strengthened that diversity of religions should cease and differences of race be annulled. What harm is there in this? Yet so it shall be. These fruitless strifes, these ruinous wars shall pass away and the most great peace shall come. Lua happened to find a newspaper article reporting about this event and almost immediately she set out to learn more about this great personage of Baha'u'llah. Soon, an opportunity came for her to study about the faith, and she had all her questions answered, one after another. She realised that Baha'u'llah was indeed the manifestation that her mother had encouraged her to search for. Lua's love for Baha'u'llah grew day by day, and eventually she became a great teacher of the faith. One of the first things she did was return home to her mother and share with her the good news that she had waited for, that God's new manifestation had appeared. Ellen McBride Moore's prayers had been answered. <laughs>